Well, okay then. Apparently I wasn't recording that at all. But I wasn't recording anything at all. That may seem contradictory and doesn't make sense. But I don't think that takes precedent. I'm here to review the newest episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. And my god, I have things to say this time around. Uh, mm, no, okay. So, it's hot in this room because I had the heater on. And I left it on a little too long. So now I'm uh, a little bit burning up. So, from my memory, from what I can remember, let's talk about the Robopi, Ghost Girl, and Blood Shepherd fight before we get on to the uh, main course of this video. Uh, I would say, uh, mm, as the duel is going on, I realized that they could just get rid of Robopi at any moment, because Robopi's not actually a main main character of any, any capacity. But, uh, how do I say this? Uh, the same could be said about the characters Robopi is fighting. Uh, I know Ghost Girl and Blood Shepherd are probably a lot of people's favorites, but that's not the point here. I'm talking about plot plot wise. Uh, so really, if they wanted to, Robopi could lose, uh, no big deal. And if Robopi won, does it really matter? Uh, we've seen apparently uh, I took down all the Knights of Hanoi. Uh, he also, uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. He took down Spectre, and he took down the other three. I, I don't remember their names. Sorry, except for uh, Vira, Vira, whatever. Anyway, so with all this in mind, does it really count? Eh, not much. However, in the end, I will say Robopi won. Seemingly fair and square. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting to just throw in that his his monsters uh, have different effects if they're co-linked or not, which is pretty interesting. Uh, their effects aren't really that great. I'll, I'll say a, a monster that can attack directly, and then a monster that I forgot what the monster does. It just destroys the monster it battles with, and then you take damage. Uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. That's probably why they're all Link 1s, with all these Links pointing, not co-linked. Anyway, uh, well, there's Linked, and then there's co-linked. Co-linked is when they're both pointing to each other. Linked is when one's pointing to another one. Anyway, so that's what... Uh, I would say Robopi won this one. Fair and square. Because, uh, simply put, Ghost Girl and Blood Shepherd were both simply outplayed. Simply put, they were outplayed. Uh, I, as I was watching the duel, I, I could see that 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 yeah. Even though I'll be honest, uh, Emma, uh, you know, Ghost Girl, she was she was she was doing her hardest, but it's not like she was struggling. I can't explain it. I will say this: it was. It, it was a kind of good duel. Sadly, it had to get split up in two different in two different episodes. But it was a good duel. Uh, it was. I feel like it's a good, solid duel. There's a there's a good enough back and forth, and it, it shared like the tension of a real life duel. Things get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it just all collapsed onto one side. Uh, this it got bigger, bigger, bigger until it didn't collapse. It kind of like kind of semi collapsed. Like, I, I can't explain. I did, though, like how they did come together and they did were able to basically play together. However, uh, I don't understand the whole last part because the stakes was just like come in here and duel. It wasn't like if you come in here, you're going to die. So I'm very confused as to why Blood Shepherd and Ghost Girl, like, they had a whole death scene for them. Are they, are they dead? Like, is that what you're trying to say? Because you... Because I don't remember anybody saying that these are duels to die for. <laughs> uh, with the whole Bowman thing, it was like, well, now you're going to become part of the consciousness. So it's like, okay, well, we beat Bowman. So now you're not part of the consciousness. So now you're free. Makes sense. This, there's none of that. Usually what ends up happening in, in Reigns, even though this is like the closed off, like, data par portion of Reigns, uh, is uh, what ends up happening is um, you just log out 
or you're just like, oh man, I got defeated, and that's probably probably it. But they kind of look like they're tearing apart at the seams. That's what it, that's what it looks like. Uh, and it looked like darkness just infected them. Uh, Ghost Girl and uh, Blush River. Uh, is that what happens when when I and Robopi win? Like, I, I can't explain. Like, like you like semi die or something like that. So that part for me was a bit confusing. On to the next part. It is the Go versus Idol. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting to see that uh, apparently I Ice Deck of, of, of I can't even speak. Ice Deck revolves around his field spell card Island. Now I don't remember seeing this card in play. Maybe maybe he did play it in the um what was it? In the uh in the first duel of the season. Uh Queen versus I. Did he play it then? I because I honestly do not know the effect of that card. I don't remember seeing it. So that's that's about it really. When it involves the I card, I mean, not not the duel. Uh, so I see that I don't know. Do you call this a redemption arc? This is not much of arc. He's a uh, ghost, like no, I'm no longer. Uh, you know, the chip's been removed. You know, when I woke up, the kids were there and stuff. So I, I could see the trying to bring Go around again. Which okay, maybe maybe Go on his way back to my heart. You know, I'm not as sure about that. Uh. Another thing, another thing is, what was I, uh, go, uh, oh yeah, Vengeance on Earth, which is pretty interesting, it's also pretty interesting that the uh, Pandora comes out and says, no, nah, there's a 100% chance that uh, uh, even if uh, he didn't, even if he didn't, uh, even if Soltek didn't take Earth, Earth was still going to be absorbed into uh, Bowman. There's a hundred percent chance of that happening, which I found that pretty interesting. It's pretty. Yeah, I guess it's pretty true. It happened to Flame, right? Even if Earth was dueling by himself, Earth was Earth would probably be taken. Uh, oh yeah, I don't think I uh, explained it. I don't. Sorry, I don't think I talked about it last episode. The whole dueling structure. Uh, I thought more about it this episode than I did last episode. Because of, uh, what was it? I think it's because of Robafi was, uh, Dolly. What the hell was that? Anyway, what I remember. Yeah. Okay, so I was basically saying that he's basically like the god tier duelist, and then like everyone's beneath him, but then like Robafi is like super below, but then he's like, but below you, Robafi is playmaker. And I think that's pretty interesting. I still have not watched any episodes of uh, You Get Everything or TG, TCG uh, anime. Because uh, I've been clearing out my sub box, by the way. Uh, so I've just been going through all these YouTube emails and stuff. And so I have not reached that point yet. Anyway, I don't know if they mentioned it or not, but I think it's pretty interesting because... The last time Isaku du did duel on his own, uh, it was, yeah, against all the Knights of Hanoi, but it was also against, uh, it was just him as a child. Uh, so, how much skill does Isaku have on his own, and how much skill did his new companion bring him? However, this also brings in another question of, after that, how much skill does Isaku have as of now? as becoming an adult i say this because i thought about it i was like okay well yeah because yuma yuma from zeal he was a terrible duelist he met up with astral together they became stronger and astral left yuma way more stronger to the point where yuma could beat astral and he did in the final episode so, with that in mind, is this the same thing applied here? 
but it's like kind of like astral like came back but instead of astral being like the, instead, instead of like the, the last episode well, the last three episodes being the last three episodes of zeal the last three episodes were like an entire seasonal arc that's kind of how i see it so i think yusaku basically from being with i came out stronger also, I don't know what's Ai's true intention. Apparently, he still wants to keep on the war of uh, Ignis's and and whatever. But I feel like they're gonna pull like some sort of code Gias on us, where when Ai is being killed, he's like, "I did this so humanity can be at peace." Uh, so let me go on to another subject here. What I think is gonna happen is Ai is going to take on Blue Maiden. And her brother Akira, I think that's his name. Either it's going to be a 2v2 with Robopi and I, or it's going to be a 1v2. Uh, now, why is this? Why am I saying this now? Because I think Playmaker, I think, I think Playmaker Revolver and Soulburner are all going to be a little tied up with the whole turn ending thing. Uh, I think they're going to come, I think, I think they're going to beat, uh, the whole lockdown strategy. I think they're going to come in to where Zizen's at, and the duel's going to be halfway going. The duel's going to be at the halfway point of, uh, I versus, uh, Zizen. And then, and then I's going to win. I's going to jet out of there, disappear. And he's just going to say, I'll come back to fight you. Or something like that. Then, I think what's going to happen is Ro Revolver, Revolver and Silver Burner, they're going to fight. They're going to have their duel because like you have to stick that in somehow, some way. They're going to fight. They're going to have their duel. And then after that, or probably during that, uh, it's gonna. Ice basically gonna launch out a whole assault of these robots, <clears throat> and then when that happens, that's when they of course spring into action, and then they're gonna go ahead and attempt to beat down I. I is gonna defeat Soul Burner. He's then gonna defeat Revolver, and then Yusaku is gonna defeat I. I is going to say, uh, since you defeated me, there's now peace in the world, or something like that. And you've seen how Kogi is, and this is how it's going to be like a zero, zero moment, you know. Uh, and the whole, maybe maybe this time around, the whole world's going to witness this, uh, which would be pro probably crazy. Uh, I don't know why, but I feel like this how, I feel like that's how things are going to go. Anyway. Then peace will be restored, and then the show is going to end. And then Yusaku's is probably going to be like, "Why do we fight?" You know, he's going to he's going to become Mega Man. He's going to he's going to question why he fights, and then he's going to go ahead and live a happy life. And then that's it. The show's over, and they're going to announce that uh, that there's a new Yu-Gi-Oh anime on the horizon. That's what's going to happen. So I just I just I just spoiled the whole show for you right there. That's what I feel like. Yeah, I can't speak. That's what I feel like. Oh my goodness. That's what I feel like is going to happen. Maybe I'm a little too excited. These at Ignister monsters, though, they make no sense. Uh, maybe because I'm human, you know. Maybe I need to get a little more digitized. Uh, but right now, go. Oh, 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 geez, I can't even say his last name. Go Onizuka. Looks like he's on the ropes, is what I should say. He's, he's he looks like I I feel like his defeat is is, is assured, but I feel like his defeat is going to be a grand defeat. Uh, we see in the preview of the next episode that Pandora uh, looks to be giving some sort of maybe dual data or some information to I because I looks really shocked about it, and then he looks like he gains back a serious demeanor. On top of that, we see that Yusaku Revolver. And Soulburner are actually in that in that dome place where Akira is, uh, or at least whatever that place is looks similar. I'm gonna assume it is because I don't know. 
There's no reason not to. I don't know, unless they all got teleported somewhere. I don't fucking know. Uh, but it looks like they're all out of that locked door. But that could be like the last two minutes of, of the next episode for we know. For all I know. <laughs> you guys already knew. <laughs> I'm just coming back, checking, checking up on these. Anyway, that's about it. That's all I could layer and luster and put onto this is just that. I'm pretty sure if I rewatch the episode, I'll probably be like, oh yeah, that. Well, uh, but just straight up, hot off the kitchen bed from my mind is that. I'll try not to miss any more episodes, but last week's episode was just, it was, eh, I don't really care. This episode, not so much. I care a little bit more. That's why I'm making this. Alright, links in the description for my Ko-Fi if you want to support me. Please like, comment, and subscribe to get more videos. Maybe not like this. Uh, it all actually depends because I, I cycle through a lot. I'm uploading a shit ton of Devil May Cry videos currently. And I'll be doing more of this video, so stick around for a little while longer. Uh, yeah, I'll keep doing this. I'll also have a brand new series out soon. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I will be making an update video, so stick around and stay tuned for that as well. Tomorrow, a brand new awesome video I spent a lot of time editing comes out. And then after that, uh, the next two days are not Devil May Cry video. They're actually, well, actually the next three days after this video comes out, there are three Overwatch videos uh, all about my favorite character from Overwatch, the character I mean, the reason why I even play the game, uh, May. So if you like May, or if you don't like May, go over there and give that video a thumbs up so people can know that May is either very great or very shitty. Uh, leave your comments down below because remember, you have probably a keyboard. You can type in some shit. I don't know. You want to say you want to say some shit to me? I I don't fucking know. That's all I have to say. Fuck. That was aesthetic, right?